and action. Why did you order raisin bread? Why did you order tea? Because you ordered raisin bread. I ordered raisin bran because I didn't want there to be any mistaking this for a date. It can still be a date if you order raisin bran. It's not a date. <clears throat> it's not a date. How's your, your thing going, your dancing thing? It's good. How's your restraining order? I wouldn't exactly call the restraining order my thing, but I mean, getting back together with Nikki is. And I'm actually doing great, apart from one minor incident at the doctor's office. And the incident with the weights. Okay, yeah, that, that, that was a thing with my parents, but, you know, I really wish that I could write Nikki a letter and explain, explain that it was really minor and that I'm not out of control and, and that I'm actually doing really well. I can get a letter. I see her sometimes with my sister. It would be fucking amazing if you could get a letter to Nikki for me. I have to hide it from Veronica. She's not really into breaking the law, which this letter would definitely be doing. But you would do it? I have to be careful. I'm already on the nice appearance as it is. You should hear how I lost my job. How did you lose your job? By having sex with everybody in the office. Everybody? I was really depressed after Tommy died. A lot of people. We don't have to talk about it. Thanks. How many were there? Eleven. Wow. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we don't have to, I, don't, I won't keep talking about it. Okay, wait, wait, one more question. Were any of them women? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. What was that like? Huh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> was it like sexy, older teacher trying to seduce you or like what was the Your stuff yeah you sat on her lap she made you do stuff oh my god he used to hate it when i talked like this made me feel like such a pervert we should probably change the subject. I don't mind it. You don't, do you? No. No, but then people were getting into fights in the parking lot, in the bathrooms, and then my boss called me into his office and tried to pin it all on me. So I accused him of sexual harassment. Oh. So fired me. Semi I get it. The the song that was playing when my wife was in the shower with the history teacher. I heard about that. It was my wedding song. And when I hear it, I go kind of crazy. And I hear it sometimes when it's not even playing. Wow. So they put me on medication, which I feel ashamed of. Yeah. So I know, I get it. You do know. I just, I gotta get like a strategy, you know? What if, what if you, Told Nikki when Veronica was in the bathroom. That could work. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, we could definitely do that. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to go home and write the letter right now. Wait, can I at least finish my tea first? What? My tea. Can I finish it? Wait a second. Did Veronica tell Nikki about our dinner? Why would she do that? Was it a test? Kind of felt that way, yeah. Damn it, I knew it was a test. How did I do? I, th I think I did okay. Yeah, I mean, she said you were cool, basically. Basically. So, so does that mean I'm, I'm some percentage not cool? I mean, she said you were cool, but you know. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't know. Sort of how you are. It's fine. Relax. What does that mean? How, how am I? How am I? What does that mean? Sort of like me. Like you? I hope to God she didn't tell Nikki that. Why? Because it, 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 it just wouldn't be right lumping you and I together. I mean especially after all the shit you just told me. Nikki wouldn't like that. Oh my God. You think I'm crazier than you. Well, we're different. Uh, oh, you're, you're killing me. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> forget I offered to help you. <laughs> All right, forget the entire fucking idea. Because that must have been so fucking crazy. Because I'm just so much crazier than you. <laughs> Keep it down. Keep it down. Crazy slut with a dead husband. <laughs> oh, forget it. Shut fuck. the fuck up. I thought it was really solid. I mean, I felt like the two of you really were playing off each other nicely. You know, I, I, I liked how you, you guys were reacting to each other. Um, I, I have a couple of things to think about, um, just a couple of notes, uh, not a lot, but just a few things. Um, so let, let's start with you, Sarah. Um, tell me what, what, what's going on with her right now? Like, what do you think this scene is telling us about you? Kind of telling her that she uses sex as an escape huh? um, from her problems. It, um, Does she like him? That she's very defensive. Does she like Trevor? Yeah, she's trying to fuck him. Yeah. Yeah. So she likes him. Yeah. So weirdly, she is trying to garner attention from him by helping him get back right. together with his wife. Right. Exactly. So that's how you seem to think. Right. How's that going to work? I mean, how does that work in your head? Like, what's the plan? And it, Or is there no plan? And that's kind of part of the fun of the scene, is that it's just about staying in his life. I kind of just want to stay in his life. Mm -hmm. like, to, but I'm thinking, I'm trying to fuck him tonight. My, my, in my mind, I want to fuck him. That's yeah. why I'm lying about saying I'm going to get her the letter, because I'm not. I'm not going to give her the letter because I'm not stupid. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, you guys have to tell me. Does she end up, does she, does she end up getting them? She, she writes the letter herself and pretends okay. to be the wife. And what? She pretends to be the wife. Do you feel like when she offered that she's the kind of person that would blatantly lie like that? Because mm. that's a pretty strong thing. Because I'm wondering if maybe she really is offering, you know, to do it. But, you know, it's just sort of a way to, like, stay in his life. It's a way to connect. You she know? is, but, but she doesn't do it. I'm not saying she does it, but her intentions are to do it. Yeah. So it's just a different kind of person that you yeah. are. You know, if, if, you, if it's, a, it's a plan, you know, I'm going to tell him I'm going to do it. It just kind of makes you a little bit more evil, you know? Um, you know, if you had no plan of doing it at all compared to, I fully intend on doing it, yeah. you know, and I just want to be in his circle, you know, right. and it feels to me like that's probably more her. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I think it's probably, it's probably not real easy for you to hear 
him always talking about the wife. Right, yeah. If she really, what's that? Definitely pisses me off. Well, yeah, it pisses you off, and then there's a bunch of jealousy, and it's also just difficult to hear because you're sitting here right in front of him, you know, and why does, does he not see? Am I not, like, good enough for him? Right, right. Like, and <laughs> in, instead, he, what's that? Yeah. I was going to say that there's a there's a part of me that does care about him, even though I am kind of evil or whatever in my intentions and wanting to fuck him. I well, I'm not saying I'm not saying you're evil to to want to have sex with him. I'm saying uh, <laughs> I don't I don't think there's anything evil about you at all. I, I'm saying I think that she fully intends on giving that letter, and I think she fully intends and is offering. Okay. You know, I, I would not make a choice if I were playing your character. I wouldn't make a choice that it's a plan to lie okay because it's just it's a strong statement this way it just makes you somebody who's confused right you know who's lost who who doesn't get it and that seems to be who you are yeah yeah you know somebody who would think well if i help him get the letter and then i'm still like in with him and right, that's right, totally right. gonna get him because eventually he's gonna see that i'm way better than the wife yeah so that's like that, I like that choice. I think I that like I think that the, the main thing I would say for you is just the difficulty in hearing him, you know, sort of obsessively talk about this. Yeah. You know, and don't forget, both of you have demons. Mm -hmm. You know, both of you have some major skeletons that you're dealing with. And yeah. so I think both of you need to explore, uh, Trevor, on your end as well, um, how difficult it is to stay normal. Yeah. You know, and I and I, I I would say the temptation is to be like you were at the end, Sarah. Yeah. The temptation yeah. is to be a freak like that. You yeah. know, at the at the very beginning of the scene. And it's almost like, no, I gotta stay sane. Sure. I love that. I yeah. gotta be normal. And yeah. I and I feel like that's what's missing from you, Trevor, is that you you're very healthy. Okay. You know, you seem very grounded and very healthy and confident and like this is just sort of matter of fact and you know this is what it is instead of a guy who's like trying to keep pushing down these things that are eating you up and that are going to attack at any moment it's almost like i don't want i'm trying to not think about the fact that my my wife was having sex with that guy right and i'm also trying to push down the fact that i keep checking sarah out and that's one thing that you need to bring to the scene is that you okay. will not admit the fact that you're in love with her. You won't admit the fact that she's actually really a good candidate for you. Right. I mean, we see the way you light up when she's talking about the whole sex thing, right? But, you know, I think even just the, in, the fun of the scene is watching you in the beginning of the scene just be lit up when you're around her. Did you ever watch The Office? Yeah. It's exactly the same deal as Jim and Pam. Remember, she was engaged to another guy. Right. She, whenever she's around Jim, she lights up. And it's so obvious she's in love with him, but she's engaged to the wrong guy. Yeah. It's the same story. Yeah. You understand? Totally. So, yeah. you know, when you're here, you won't admit it. But what the fuck is wrong with me? Why do I keep looking at her breasts? I'm in right. love with Nikki or whatever her name is. Her name Nikki. Nikki, yeah. I'm in love with Nikki. Why do I keep checking her out? She's crazy. I shouldn't be with her. I need somebody right. normal. Wait a minute, normal? My ex-wife is normal? She had sex with another guy on a staircase. If anybody's sane, it's Sarah. You just don't see it yet. Right. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Both of you need to be a lot more jumbled up, trying to kind of like uh, stay sane. Yeah, I love that. I love that. I like that too. Oh, cool. And now that I think about it, because my, my character is even talking about, like, in his first lines, like about how I'm actually stable, and that's yeah, not so, like that didn't really come across that I'm fighting. Well, your stability. line is what? Is your line? I'm stable. I'm doing good, or something. And, and yeah, he's saying I wish I could just get her a letter saying, you know, I'm I'm actually not out of control, and I'm actually doing yeah, pretty so good. Yeah, of it is some of the fun of it is watching you going. This guy's fucking nuts. You know, this guy's fucking crazy. He's not literally crazy, but he's like, you know, somebody who could come unglued. 
Yeah. So that when no, you're saying, I, I like that, Brad, and I like the fact of um, you changing it and kind of making it more like she's not she's not lying. She's really telling the truth because that kind of shows that that honest part of her that she is honest. She is. Oh, really I, mean, I think she's totally honest. I just think she's lost. Yeah. And okay. again, she's so lost that the way she connects to Trevor, what's your character's name, Trevor? Pat. Keep coming back to the way that you are going to connect to Pat is by setting him up with his wife. Yeah. That's going to get him. That's how you think. I love that. Yeah. Just fucking whacked, you know, and you're sitting here trying to get this woman, you know, what, what's missing Trevor is you're trying to get this woman to write a letter. It's almost like, but. We're, there's a huge part of you going, I don't want to write a fucking letter. And that's the side that you need to develop in, in your character. Okay. The side that you goes, Nikki never lets me talk like this. I like talking like this. Right. What's wrong with me? Yeah. And he keeps like thinking something's wrong with himself for, for being attracted to, to Sarah. What's your character's name? Tiffany. <laughs> what, what's wrong with me? Why am I attracted to Tiffany? Yeah. Something's wrong with me. I, I'm fucking fucked up because she's insane. She has sex with 11 people in the restaurant. I can't be going out with that, but she's so hot. Right. There's that. Both. So it, well, yeah. Either. It's almost like when you're saying writing the letter, it's almost like you're trying to convince yourself that you're still in love with Nikki. Okay. Right. That makes I'm sense. I'm fine. I am so good. I'm getting Nikki back. I'm well. What? How many women did you have sex with? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just what? Like it's it's right there. It could come out at any moment. You know, and it's just that you're trying to like push it down, because if you do let it out of the bag, like then you're really saying goodbye to Nikki, and I don't know that you can handle that yet. Right. All right, you yep. guys. I have to move on. All right, Brad. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's really so good much. seeing you guys. I really I really enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing it again. Why did you order a raisin bran? Why did you order tea? Because you ordered raisin bran. I ordered raisin bran because I didn't want there to be any mistakenness for a date. There'll be a date if you order raisin bran. <laughs> it's not a date. Uh, how's your, your thing going? Your dancing thing? It's good. How's your restraining order? I wouldn't exactly call the restraining order my thing, but um, I'm actually doing great, apart from one minor incident at the doctor's office. And the incident with the weights. Yeah, that, that was a thing with my parents. I just, I really, you know, I wish that I could just write Nikki a letter and explain that it was minor and that I'm not out of control and I'm actually doing really good. get a letter to Nikki. I see her sometimes with my sister. It would be amazing if, if you could get a letter to Nikki for me. I have the height of a Veronica. She's not really into breaking the law, which this letter would definitely be doing. <laughs> but you would do it? I'd have to be careful. I'm already on thin ice with my parents as it is. You should hear how I lost my job. How did you lose your job? By having sex with everybody in the office. Every, everybody? I was really depressed after Tommy died. It was a lot of people. We don't have to talk about it. Thanks. How many people? Eleven. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to keep. Uh, okay, wait, wait. One question. Um, were any of them women? Yes. Jesus Christ. What was that like? How, how, how was that? Hot. Oh my God. <laughs> um, was it like a, like a, 
older woman, like a sexy teacher trying to seduce you kind of thing, or? Sit on her lap and do stuff. Oh my God, you sat on her lap? She told you what to do? Jesus Christ. Um, we should, we should, we should change the subjects. I, I don't, uh, Nikki used to hate it when I talked like this. It made me feel like a pervert. I don't. You don't, do you? No. No. Um, but then people were petting the bathrooms and in the parking lots. And then my boss called me into his office and tried to pin it all on me. So I accused him of sexual harassment. Old. So he fired me, sent me home, and put me on. I get it. I get it. The song that was playing when my, uh, when my wife was in the shower with uh, that history teacher. I heard about that. Was my wedding song. And when I hear it, I, I go kind of crazy. And I sometimes hear it when it's not even playing. So they put me on medication, you know, which I feel ashamed of. So I, I, I get it. I, I know. I do know. We should, we should, we should probably get back to the letter. Um, Let's get back to the letter. What if, uh, what if you told Nikki when Veronica's in the bathroom? That could work. Okay. Yeah, it could work. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go home right now, and write the letter. Okay. Can I at least finish my tea first? What? Can I finish it? Wait a second. Did Veronica tell Nikki about our dinner? Why? Why would she do that? Was it? Was it like a, like a test? I mean, yeah, kind of felt that way. God damn it! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was a fucking test. Um, how how did I do? I, th I think I did okay, maybe. Yeah, I mean, so you were cool, basically. Basically, what does that mean? Uh, was I like some percentage not cool? I mean, she said you were cool, but like, you know. No, I don't. <laughs> Well, said you were cool, but like, sort of, how you are? How I, <laughs> what, how I, how am I? Sort of, like me. Like you? I hope to God she didn't tell Nikki that. Why? Because that wouldn't be right, lumping you and I together like that. It just wouldn't. And Nikki wouldn't like that. Especially after all the shit you just told me. Oh my God. You think I'm crazier than you. <laughs> well, we're different. <laughs> oh. You know what? Uh, forget I offered to help you. All right, forget the entire fucking idea. Because that must have been so fucking crazy. Because I'm just so much crazier than you. <laughs> Your voice sound. Crazy slut with a dead husband. <laughs> oh, forget it. Fuck Shut you. the fuck up. 